Oh, Jesus, there's towers everywhere. Hey, button pushers, my name is Nick, and welcome to Cloud Climber. Uh, this, I've had my eye on this for a little while, it's not necessarily brand new, but I think it's only been out for like about a month, maybe even less than that. But this looks very, very cool. It's like, from what I can gather, like a walking simulator style game, but with slightly more functional gameplay mechanics, but it's all about story. And I'm a sucker for a good story. Plus this is made by two star games, I think they're called, who made My Beautiful Paper Smile, Another which has arrived. was a great game. I'd best get my water before going to work. Okay. Uh, yoink you. Chest key. Bucket of water. Stand diary, page 1489. I may need to get to the neighbouring tower in the future, but I know the other builders keep the entrance to the bridge locked. I saw a key on the table at the top of our tower a few weeks ago, before I went to get more building supplies. I haven't been up there in a few days, so I'll need to check if it unlocks the bridge door. If the other towers ever become vacant, I might need to get across, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Okay. Yeah, artistically, this looks phenomenal. Construction on the last tower stopped weeks ago. I can only assume that the builders have met their fate by now. I believe it's safe enough for me to go and continue building higher yet from where they left off. Mm. I'll need to travel across the other two towers to get there, but I'm sure I can find a way. So what happens to the builders? What do you mean by they've met their fate? Burning the Great and Terrible Diary, page 69. For months we've been building faster than ever. Seems as if every time we complete a new level, the clouds raise higher and higher. I could have sworn we were close to them decades ago, but we're still not done yet. I can only hope we're getting close. Signed, Bernie, the Great and Terrible. That's what my friends call me. Yeah, no, I love this sort of thing where there's obviously something ominous happening, or there's some sort of eeriness to it, but at the same time, it's really actually quite peaceful. Joey Diary, page 420. Up and building all day long, and Bernie the Great and Terrible has been sitting on his butt, acting as foreman. AKA, he doesn't do any work, and drinks all our water. I've started locking my water chest, just in case he really does think he's above us all. Bernie's a dick. But, that's why they call him the Great and Terrible. That's the title you've got to earn. Okay. So, I can get across to that tower from in here. No, because that door's locked. Of course it is. Oh, Jesus, there's towers everywhere. So is this is this almost like a... Um, we've, we've screwed up the world beyond repair to the point where we can't live on the surface anymore and we've had to build towers to be closer to the clouds. Interesting. A key. Yoink. Bridge door key. That's a hefty saw. Okay. So let's go open that and get across to the other bridge. Edna Diary, page 36. I can't believe today is the 100th anniversary of our tower. I know others have been building much longer, and now I wish our grandparents had taken this whole thing more seriously. A hundred years ago, they decided things were getting dangerous. But why didn't they see the problem 200 years ago, or even longer? I'm still glad they started building, but I just wish we'd seen this coming. This is really interesting. It's been quite some time since I was on the second tower. I haven't crossed this bridge since the builders became greedy and took the supplies that were meant to come to our tower. Bastards. Just like all the other towers, its inhabitants quickly grew desperate and aggressive. Now it stands empty. Yeah, why, how come I'm the only one left? Kyle Diary. I guess I knew the day would come, but I didn't expect it to come this soon. Yesterday we started extreme rationing of our water. 
A few days back, we stopped getting supplies from the ground crew on our lift. We can only assume that they've stolen the supplies for themselves, ran out of water and food sources, or they're simply dead. If we don't get it into the cloud soon, we might need to see if we can get some from one of the neighbouring towers. Okay, there was a rope, like a rope bridge up there that will get me over to the next tower. So let's keep heading up. Bertha Diary, page 9825. Dear Diary, would it be ironic if it rained now after decades of building? Now would be the perfect time, since we've just started rationing our supplies more, but I have a good feeling about this. I know I've never seen rain myself, but Grandmother always told me how wonderful it felt. It would be so surreal to be on the ground and see water for miles instead of desert and wasteland. I'm sure it will rain someday. We just need to survive until then. Hmm. So that's why we're getting close to the clouds for their sweet, sweet moisture. To get to the third tower. I should be able to use it to get across. Nice. I. Okay, I don't want to do that yet. I'm just going to finish exploring this tower. Kyle Diary. I'll try to be reasonable. I'll try to talk with them. But those greedy little scumbags on Tower 1 don't want to share their supplies with us. I'm not going to die miles above the ground, drying up like a raisin while other people just watch. I'm going over there tonight to take everything I can, so I can last long enough to watch everyone else die. Ooh. It's like Kyle got the big crazies. Oh, it goes up even more. Interesting. Up we go. Oh, okay. There's nothing up here. Right, down we go. It's always good to explore everywhere you can, just, just in case. Okay, and away I go. Oh, I'm very hot out. Call this place beautiful if these dust storms weren't so suffocating. So yeah, I think, I think literally the world has got so screwed up. I hope I find what I'm looking for at the fourth tower. That the only way for us to to survive was to just build up and try and get out of it. Joey Diary, page five five six. Yesterday, Hadang fell off the tower. I don't know how it happens, but it was a shame, especially since he had the key to most of our water chests. We'll need to break the locked ones open soon, since we've almost emptied the other chests. That's not ideal. I would go as far as to say that was actually quite selfish of Hadang. Oh my god, there's so many towers. Cold Diary, page 57. I just can't get over it. Hadan gives the absolute best reactions when I mess with him. For the past week I've been pretending to get mad and shove my arms at him, as if to push him off the tower. I don't think this will ever get old, and I can tell Hadang loves it. Carl, did did you get carried away and push Hadang off the tower? That looks a bit like a signed confession to me. Ooh, stack o' planks. So I've got bucket water and a stack o' planks. Ah, this would be what I need the planks for. Like I'll need to fix this bridge. Bonk, 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 bonk. Uh, bonk, bonk, bonk. Marvelous. It's hard to believe that I'm the last one here. Hmm. I never thought it would end like this. Makes you wonder what the whole point was in the first place. A note of ambition. Out of everyone on this earth, our families were the only ones who took the water crisis seriously. We were the ones who started building. We were mocked and told we were insane. We were the ones everyone looked to when the lakes and the rivers dried up. Our blueprints were the ones that were stolen as people became desperate. Out of everyone on this earth, we are the ones who deserve to survive. The clouds are brimming with liquid life, but are still so evasive. We've been building for a long time, but we're not done yet. We have farther to go. We will climb the clouds. 
the son of Zilchar. Dewey Diary. This evening, Kevin made a really cheesy speech about how we alone will prevail and how we're the only descendants of the Great Ones who deserve life. It was honestly the cringiest speech I've ever heard, and that's really saying a lot considering the other stuff he's been saying lately. He also keeps referring to himself in third person and only responds to us if we call him Son of Zilchar. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Anything I can tell? Ooh, a hammer. And a saw. Okay, so what do I need that for? Let's head up and find out. Ooh. Okay, so I need more stacko planks. Fair enough. I guess I'll yoink them from that stack of planks there then. Donk. Donk. Okay, now I can go up. Jesus, this was a mighty stack of blanks. This place really is beautiful. Even it really is. Storms. It's peaceful in a way. I've been working on that tower my whole life. Never once stopped to appreciate what we can see back our lives building. Up to the clouds, hoping we could someday reach them so we could prolong our lives. But now that everyone's gone, I know any attempt I might make at accomplishing that would be futile. Rather than spending the rest of my life building a tower, maybe it's time I took a break. It's been a long time, but I think I'm finally done. That was great. That was everything I wanted it to be. That to me is the perfect kind of walking simulator. So there's a little bit of exploration, there's little things to do, there's extra bits of story you can find if you look for them. Just, and aesthetically this was so pleasing. <laughs> like the combination of the towers looking really like just fabulous and the slightly comic styled items that you can pick up. It's those two go so well together so yeah two star games they have a very very good aesthetic to their games this was great this was everything i wanted it to be so if you want to play this for yourself and have a little explore see if i missed anything because i almost certainly did then the link to the game page is in the description if you have a game that you've developed or there's an indie game that you just like playing then let me know about it leave me a comment reach out on social media and i will play it thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed this video then why don't you go ahead and the like button the ever threatening dust storm that is the subscribe button make sure you that bad boy and until next time Love you back.